This is Openly Hostile Opinions. With your host, Casey and Jay. I can do anything I want to, people, anytime I want to. Open Hostile Opinions. Hey, hey, hey! What's up, motherfuckers? Happy 4th! Woo! Happy 4th of July, the day that we kicked the British's ass, I guess. Oh, twice! Never. Twice! <laughs> Let's put that down so everyone knows that we kicked your ass twice. Also, hey. back-to-back World War champions. America. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right, now that that shit's out of the way. Actually, I apologize. I was going to make a new new pretty overlay for today, but I was completely busy and lazy, and I just didn't. So, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you I'm, get the same old overlay. Yeah, I'm wearing my America's Fuck t-shirt. You know, has Donald Trump riding a tank, riding bald eagles and shit, so that's good. <laughs> Uh, yeah, today is just a fucking train wreck. I completely am fucked up with everything. I, uh, I I lost my laptop bag that has my tablet, which is for our sound effects, and you're not going to get any fancy sound effects today, but fuck it. Yeah, so you're stuck with our annoying-ass voices, so that's about it. Yeah, the show <laughs> the show must go on. So, hey, uh, uh, I see Malcav's in here with us. Hey, Malcav. Glad you can make it finally. What's up, motherfucker? <laughs> I see you down there. Uh, so anyway, I guess we should do our beer of the week, 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 <laughs> week. Yeah, I got no sound effects, sorry. Uh, today we have from Evil Genius Beer Company, we've got Stacy's Mom Citra India Pale Ale. Yes, this is, uh, probably high alcohol content, probably gonna fuck me up, uh, Enough to where I'm going to be lighting fireworks later. So, yeah, why not drink beer? <laughs> so, uh, let, let's go ahead and have ourselves a taste of Stacy's mom. Yes. Ding dong, motherfucker. Mmm, I don't know. Stacy's mom has some bite to her. Oh, man. It tastes like grapes, doesn't it? Yeah, it's got that grapefruity. Yeah. Well, citra. Citra India Pale Ale. I guess it's supposed to be citrus later. Yeah, very, very, very hoppy. Well, it's a pale ale. Of course it is. But it's very, very fucking hoppy. Um, yeah, she does got it going on, <laughs> indeed. Um, but I get like a fruit taste, like, and it's not, you know, me. Hey, uh, <laughs> and hey, it, hell's fire. Hey, what's up, man? Um, it, it's very grapey. I don't know. I get like a wine taste afterwards. It's actually pretty interesting. It's really good. I don't, yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of liking the taste of Stacy's mom. Yeah, I know. How about I, I could taste Stacy's mom all day. How about yeah. you? Oh, I could taste her too. Just, mm, she tastes like she just had an abortion. <laughs> okay then <laughs> but uh Moving yeah right along oh <laughs> uh, what, what did we have uh try from these guys the other time what was it um i forget what the fuck it was dude we've tried so many beers at this point yeah evil genius remember. like this is the second beer i think we've had, tried from them the other one i forget was something strange like something that had to do with stacy's mom or something but i can't remember band camp one time at band camp, oh yeah one called. time yeah they have a lot of american pie references yeah, they do. I don't know. I never thought of that. Hey, when those movies came out, they were pretty cool. I thought they were disgusting, so I liked them. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think it's delicious. Uh, I would definitely have this again. If I would rate it, I'd give it uh, four out of drunk people drinking bush that are going to blow their fingers off today out of five. <laughs> yeah, something about uh, something about the 4th of July makes me laugh. You entrust a bunch of drunken people uh, with fireworks that you wouldn't trust with a glow stick hey, on any man. other day. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. <laughs> That's America. You know, America's the shit. It's fucking awesome. Uh, that reminds me, I got some fireworks last night from a guy out of a garage that's uh-huh. very illegal. <laughs> Got, don't don't say names. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to say names, but I got this thing. I have no idea what it is. It's supposedly new this year, and it's called uh, Bring It On, and they look like shotgun shells, if you can see that. It looks really cool. I just bought it because it looks like shotgun shells, so that's going to be awesome. That was 20 bucks. I spent about 250 bucks on these things. <laughs> Jeez. Um. I bought this thing just because they're my favorite. If anyone knows what uh, Whistling Saturns are or Saturn missiles or Saturn moon things, uh, this thing's fucking cool. Uh, I bought it just because it's an American flag. Why the fuck not? <laughs> and that was 20 bucks. But, uh, yeah, I can't wait to set that off. And then I got another one here. It's a little longer, but can't wait to set this fucking thing off. Oh, my God. What does that do? Uh, uh, it's the same thing as this American flag thing, but it's like, I don't know, the size of an elephant's dick. 
That's uh. And you yeah. know what an elephant's dick size is? How exactly? I went to the zoo when I was younger. Well, so did I, but I don't remember its dick just swinging around. <laughs> then I got these bad boys. These things were fifteen bucks a piece, and uh, they're mortars. <laughs> And they're like four inch shells. Wait a minute. So they're not. <laughs> those wouldn't be your typical shower of sparks ones. That would be. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. These are these are amazing. These I got smaller mortars and they're huge, like loud. I cannot wait to see what these fucking things do. Um, I think the smaller ones I got are like two and a half inches. These are like four inches or something. So it's going to be nuts. Well, um, boom goes the dynamite then, I guess. Yes, I'm going to piss all my fucking neighbors off today. <laughs> yeah hey why not you know, what's the point of living out in the middle of nowhere if you can't fucking piss off your neighbors i know and that's the thing like i live in the middle of nowhere if i piss someone off who everyone's related around here anyways so the one girl that's coming over actually the neighbor actually she's been on the show she'll be over so it's her family so what are they i don't fucking know whatever america <laughs> hey so i read something interesting today oh you're pregnant i know i'm sorry <laughs> no way, man. I got that snippety snip done. No, that's I'm right. not. There's no more pregnancy for us. That's right. I forgot about that. Fuck that shit. Do you have scars from it on your balls? Uh, Yeah, they're very small, though. No, they're very small. Okay. My your balls? balls my balls, scars? not the scars. <laughs> scars are huge. My, next to my little tiny nugget pecker. <laughs> nugget pecker. That I cock like, and taters. Cock and taters? I got more like a, <laughs> two golf balls and an acorn going on down yeah, there. Yeah, mine looks like a tater tot stuck in a yarn ball. That's about it. <laughs> Ugh. You know, our buddy Hammer, he's been on the show. Is he still coming on and hosting next week? Uh, yeah, I think, um, well, he has two jobs now. He works two jobs at, oh, where does he work? Little Caesars. He works at Hobie's Hoagies, I think. So he's pretty busy, so I'm going to see if I can get him on the show. If not, uh, Ashley. I might get Ashley the co-host. She lives right next door, so. Well, in any event, uh, Hammer always said that uh, he's got the tuna can. It's uh, only one inch long, but it's like three inches around. Yeah, he's got the girth. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the power! It actually reminds me. I watched I watched uh, the Power Rangers movie last night. Oh man, is this god god awful as I expected? It, it was be? really dark. What? Like there was suicide Wh shit why? And stuff Wh in it. Why? I don't know. They made a racist joke. Um, what was the other joke they made? They made a dick joke. Like I couldn't believe it. I was like, this is for kids. They made a racist joke. They made a dick joke, and then this one girl was gonna like cut her wrist with scissors. <laughs> Malcav says Scar Balls. I think that'll be the name of my next D and D character. <laughs> That's Fant Scar Scar Balls, the, uh, the the blood elf. Yeah, Scar Balls <laughs> from the planet Dick Sausage. <laughs> I, yeah. I'd be a dwarf. You got to make me a dwarf. Yeah, of course, Jace has to be a dwarf. Yeah, but I, I watched the Power Rangers movie, and it was like really deep and dark and shit. And I was like, what the fuck is this? It was so weird. And uh, the one girl, the Yellow Ranger, she's a lesbian in it. Um, <laughs> well, you have to represent everybody now. Do you know I, I know. Well, well, they've been doing that for years. Like, did you ever watch Barney? And there's the Asian kid, the black kid, you know, the little the guy wheelchair in the, kid. Yeah. The only never... white guy is the one in the wheelchair. <laughs> 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 and, and getting none of that white privilege. But it was like really dark. And there was like actually character development shit. I was like in a fucking Power Rangers movie because they couldn't morph unless they got to know each other. So they sat around a campfire and like talked about how hard their lives were. And the one girl was like, yeah, my gay, gay, <laughs> gay. And the one girl was like, I'm a lesbian. So my parents, See? so my parents move school to school when people find out. So like, gay, yeah, gay, it was weird, gay. dude. It was weird. I would have fucked the yellow ranger though. She was hot. <laughs> <laughs> a feminist once asked me, uh, how, how do I view lesbian relationships? Apparently in HD was not the right answer. <laughs> uh, speaking of feminism though, I got, I got something to, get casey started here uh, i love feminism it's, it's my favorite thing in the fucking world well uh the pirates of the caribbean ride uh which you know before it became uh johnny depp's regular paycheck uh used to be an actual ride at uh disney world and still is but they had this scene that was at the the wench auction and it was a bunch of a uh, bunch of chicks who were all tied up and shit and they uh Sounds like a dancing concert. Yeah, they were being sold off to pirates as wives. You know, there's basically a bunch of little scenes if you've ever been there. So it was real life. <laughs> well, they're women getting sold for sex. That's so strange. <laughs> well, they're, 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 hey, remember we uh, did that story like a couple weeks ago where the pizza delivery guy got taken as the uh, sex slave, remember? That's awesome. But anyway. Uh, Why can't that happen to me? <laughs> I don't know. That and all the fucking hot ass uh, 
uh, teachers fucking the students. Where was that when I was growing up? I don't up? know. Some guy just uh, posted he was a Domino's driver. He went to a house. They didn't have any money to tip him, so the girl sucked his dick and let him blow it all over her face, and he posted it all over Twitter and shit. That's how fucking porn started. That ain't real. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. But anyway, <laughs> uh, so so instead of this shit is uh, uh, take a w- wench for a bride, which they used to have these scenes, now they've got... Uh, they're, it's going to be a bunch of pirates now uh, uh, surrendering loot, I guess. Oh, it's like man. an auction of valuables that were stolen from the townspeople as opposed to the pirate wench auction because that's no longer politically correct. So since they lost the women, okay, and women like money, were they the one that took the loot? <laughs> I guess. But, Gotta get that booty. But uh, the the famous uh, lady in red, is, she's she's like uh, one of the most famous ones on on this little part of yeah. the attraction mm-hmm. they're gonna keep her but they're gonna turn her into a badass pirate you know because because we know there were so many female pirates <laughs> i mean and bonnie sure but that's about it they, they actually there is a lot of female pirates because when you blow it in the eye they're like ah <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that's fucking stupid and then you know and then a kid, you know, grows up and gets married and has an abusive father or an bu- abusive husband or something. She's like, what is this all about? It's like, well, you know, if you shelter your kids from so much stuff, you know, they're not going to learn. So they're not going to be aware of things. That's like I was just reading segue, segue, segue. <laughs> uh, I just read an article about how this girl wrote that fidget spinners are sexist. <laughs> because, how? Because the three holes in a fidget spinner. <laughs> Get this, yeah. This, this is how much I love feminism because they're so they're so brilliantly smart. Um, the three holes in the fidget spinner supposedly uh, resemble the three holes of a woman <laughs> that men get pleasure from. <laughs> so that's why they're sexist, and they're calling for the um, the immediately banding of them because some jackass is on uh, Tumblr too much and thinks you know that he's oppressed or she's oppressed. So. Uh, yeah. That is so stupid. I know it is. Like, what are they going to ban next? Like, men? <laughs> if they could. Well, some some woman years ago already wrote a book about how they should kill 90% of men and leave 10%, you know, left just for drones, basically, is what she calls us. So we can just work for women and shit. But, but I have a question. Who's oh. going to open all the pickle jars? Like, really? Like, I... <laughs> You hate not having. I your really sound need my board. goddamn soundboard. This is this sucks. Yeah, it does. But whatever. Hey, hey you can break up the monotony by giving us a call at five seven zero three nine two six seven seven six. Just saying. Yeah, it's too bad our number wasn't like seventeen seventy six <laughs> for the Fourth of July. <laughs> yeah, it would be cool. I, I I feel so fucking. I we need some Alex Jones quotes. <laughs> I know. I feel so. Dick. Do you understand that? <laughs> I don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn to friggin' frogs gay. That's beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. You just got to rip your shirt off in a Texas Republican rage. Deathmatch. <laughs> Deathmatch style. Yeah. Oh, uh, that also reminds me, I guess, Alex Jones came out and said that uh, NASA has a sex slave ring on Mars. Yeah, supposedly. yeah. Supposedly. That's what I heard. <laughs> and someone posted a funny meme that they're like, so many people listen and it, like trust Alex Jones that NASA actually had to come out and make a statement about it. That's terrible. That's, I know. That just sucks. That dude. means our world is slipping. Oh, that just fucking sucks, man. But whatever. <laughs> hey, for those, those five of you who are still here, man, what do you, what, what do you guys, what do you guys got going on for the 4th of July? Yeah, we can't tell how many people are actually watching us. Our thing's bugged. Yeah, I don't know what the hell's up with it. It just says a lot. But we actually started the uh, episode today without, um, with with sound. We didn't fuck anything up this week. And we have a title. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we see that got, shit? We have a title. We got the title figured out and everything. It's our first time. Mm, be gentle, baby. <laughs> it's almost like we know what we're doing. Here, here, I'm giving myself some hearts because no one else will. You can do that? Apparently. Oh, sweet. Look at this shit. We'll just do this all day long. Maybe we'll get it attract some attention we're probably losing hearts or something <laughs> i have no more heart left damn it <laughs> i just i'm just waiting for it to get dark out like i just i'm so excited to light these fireworks off like you should have seen me when i walked into this guy's garage like it was just so amazing like he comes out and he's just wearing overalls and that's it <laughs> and it's just it's so amazing yes beer grilling guns and oho damn right <laughs> That's why we like you, Malcav. What's on the playlist today? What's Malcav listening to? 
I uh, actually, oh shit, I can't remember the fucking names of them, but I actually found a band that I sort of can tolerate. <laughs> and they're nothing special. I don't know why I like them. They're called Glass Cloud. Do you ever hear uh, them? No, they don't ring a bell. They're called Glass Cloud, and they have like this Roman, like you can see that right there. Yeah. They got like this Roman like thing going on, and it's uh, the album's called A Perfect War. And it's actually pretty good. It's only 20 minutes long, the whole album, but it's, it's like really good. I don't know. I like it. Get in, get out, get what you have to say, said. That's the way I like it. <laughs> exactly. I don't know. I It's hard, though. I, I just found it by accident. I've been listening to a lot of Busta Rhymes lately. Like, I know I'm too white to listen to Busta Rhymes, but I love Busta Rhymes. You know what? I, I had a uh, I had a little nostalgia fit for a bunch of, like, late 90s, early 2000s new metal lately. I don't even know why. It's such oh, garbage. Really? But, like what? Well, like Cold Chamber and, really? like, some of the corn I can tolerate, Slipknot. Yeah. And... I don't like corn. It goes in your poop. Yeah. <laughs> static X. Oh, Static X. I love, love static, static X. Love Static X. Just recently got Havoc, Bellica, Bell Accor, and a Demonic a Resurrection. Uh, Havoc's fantastic. The other two, I don't know. Bell Accor. That sounds awesome. That, that sounds sound like awesome. a fucking like, mutant space creature that like fucking comes to Earth once a year to like smell girls' panties. <laughs> I need my soundboard. I need it. <laughs> There's so many reactions to this. Yeah. I, I I just, I don't know. That's what it reminds me of. Or something that Luke Skywalker would kill or something. <laughs> that's all it reminds me of. But anyways, yeah. I don't know. I think it'd be cool to be an alien and just, you know, go to Earth and smell people's panties. They wouldn't call it like, what would they do? They'd all run from you. So you'd be able to smell as many panties as you could. <laughs> it'd be, it's the perfect deal. <laughs> do you have any, Is is that what you would say? Would be your um, guilty pleasure? Would be new metal? Oh no, I got lots. I got uh, lots of uh, guilty pleasures. Like I'm, I'm primarily like the thrash metal guy. Mm -hmm. But like, it's nothing for you to hear me listen to like '80s synth pop or like. I uh, love '80s synth pop. '90s mm. jock jams. Like y'all ready <laughs> for this? The do 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 do. Oh do, man, do, that's do. fucking awesome. Um, I listen. To just about anything that I like, I'm not I'm not a uh, an elitist by any stretch of the imagination. If I like it, I'll listen to it. And I don't give a fuck what it is. I'll listen to everything from like, you know, gangsta rap to to. Uh, I love gangsta rap. I to love like it. fucking lo fi black metal bullshit to yeah. like, you know, pop music. If, if I like it, I like it. I yeah, don't, I, don't I know a lot of people that love K pop. They fucking love it. I never really listened to it enough. Either of it. I, I can't take it. The only the only thing is funny is like I don't know if anyone in chat's ever heard of it, but Baby Metal. Oh they're, yeah, they're fucking so funny. They're great. Yeah, they they play with Halford, man. Yeah, and the funny thing is, is they're all above eighteen. <laughs> now they are. They didn't used to be. <laughs> hey, but they are now, and that's all that matters in America. <laughs> oh my god, she's young enough to crawl. At least she's in the right position. Am I right, fellas? <laughs> oh my god, you and a pedophile down the road should hang out. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, his his court date's coming up soon, actually. Yeah, well, it's been coming up for over yeah. a year now. Keeps... I think it's July 12th. It'll get pushed next... back again. Oh, yeah, because the psychiatrist won't show up or something like that. It'll get pushed back again. This whole thing's gone on long enough. Yeah, and, 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 and speaking of pedophiles, I know I look like one, but here's the thing. Okay, I have a friend, and she had a daughter, and they went to South Carolina. Okay, and I mentioned this on the show, I think, a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. But... Okay, so I'm a bit, I was asked to watch, you know, her. She's 10 years old. I was asked to watch her for a couple days, okay? I watched her for a couple days. Well, her uncle sees that she's over here and fucking tells everyone that, oh, she should be careful and shit because I'm, I look like a child molester and all this shit. And it's like, motherfucker, don't you see me over at her mom's house all the time? Do you think she would let someone babysit her kid who she doesn't know that well? Because they confronted the fucking asshole about it. And he goes, oh, I didn't know you knew him that well. Like, what the fuck, man? Like, do you think she just, like, wrapped her up like a stork does and dropped her off at my house? It's like, I don't know who you are, but babysit my kid for two fucking days. And it'd be like Peter Griffin dropping off the kids at Herbert's house. Yeah. I don't know. People just mean to mind their own fucking business. Like, I was at my brother's river lot today, and uh, the speed limit's 10 miles an hour. Okay. I'm going eight. 
eight miles an hour down this thing. This fucking drunk guy, he, he, oh, he's fucking, like, standing there. You can tell he's a faggot because he has some gay tribal tattoo bullshit. He's like, slow down. He started, like, screaming at me. I'm going eight miles an hour. And he goes, slow down. He starts screaming at me. And I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? I don't even uh, think my car could go eight <laughs> miles an hour. I think it would stall at that. Oh, my God. I just, people need to mind their own fucking business. Like, he's screaming at me. What if I had a gun? Like, what if that day my wife just cheated on me? She took her kids away from me. My life's in shambles because my boss, you know, just fired me for, you know, taking a shit on his desk. And then it's like, <laughs> I'm just having a horrible fucking day. I could have walked out and shot that motherfucker right in the face. And he's screaming at me. Like, like, geez, people just need to mind their own fucking business. Holy shit. I'm done. <laughs> Do you understand that? Oh God, my I need God. my damn sound effects. I feel naked. Uh, you feel like you don't have your fidget spinner. I do. I, I still can't believe that. Damn day. sexist. You damn sexist for having a fidget spinner. Jesus, man. Uh, the Dickie Dine Show just uploaded a video. The the people that we straight up ripped the fuck off when we first started this show. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, I'm not going to lie. We got a, little, a lot of inspiration from Jared Dines and the Dickie Dine Show and different podcasts and shit. Not just are we ripping off Howard Stern, but we rip off other internet Everyone people. rips off Howard Stern, man. Howard Stern was, you know, the original almost. Baba you know? booey, baba booey. Yeah, like, he's just the fucking original. Like, you can't... He's no good anymore, though, man. I'm gonna I sit know. here. I'm probably gonna end up with a fucking crowd of fucking Sternites calling me pretty soon for this shit. But you know what? Howard Stern hasn't been relevant since about the late 90s. Sternites. <laughs> I don't know what else to call him. I, I just uh, like you could call him that. That's hilarious. You know when I was uh, when I was driving truck because for some reason I thought I could do that well. Uh, you know I had uh, I had satellite radio, I had Sirius, and I had XM because they were two separate companies back then. And um, I listened to uh, on XM. I listened to O and A, Opie and Anthony, and I listened to Stern. And Stern was just like so not funny anymore. Yeah. You know he didn't do anything that was worth anything. He was always on vacation. Yeah. It was constant, like, you know, okay, well, they're playing highlights episodes because Stern's on vacation again. Like, how many days a fucking month did the guy even work? I know. Like, we that, don't even get paid for this. Well, we that's do the it thing. Every week without he fail. Gets, he, he made so much money from fucking Dancing with the Stars or whatever the fuck show he was on. I can't remember that show where you had to, like, hit the button. Like, uh, America's for, Got Talent, yeah, I think which, he was on. Or yeah. I don't know. And that's another thing that's weird. Like, when I go through Facebook or something and there's, like, just some bitch on there or some dude and he's, like... And it, it's um, America Got Talent. It's like, oh, you won't believe this. You know, you think he's just an ordinary person. Then you hear him saying, and you'll be amazed. I'm like, has anyone, is music so shitty nowadays yes. that when you actually hear someone sing, it's like beautiful? Yes. Like, <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Like, all these people are commenting and just like, uh-oh, we have a call. You know that? Do we? <laughs> yeah, we do. It's your wife. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. I don't know how answer, to answer. Hit the answer button, you dumbass. <laughs> hit the green button. Oh, this is awesome. We have our first call. Hello there. Can you hear us? You're on the air. <laughs> I don't think they can hear us. Well, maybe we fucked up. Oh, they're gone. Oh, no. <laughs> we fucked up. How did we? <laughs> oh, snap. She caught you. No, she knows I do this dumbass. I was actually... Begging her to call in. Because she actually nobody... called. Well, here, open. The... I, I think I know there's a setting probably wrong. Oh, really? Go here? No, 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 no. That thing that you just said. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> if anybody calls in again, we'll figure it out. Or should I go to more? I don't know. Anything under here? Settings? Yeah, why not? Settings. Fuck it. Can you choose what the, the microphone is, what the device is? Uh, I have no idea. This is like seeing a vagina for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I have no fucking clue, dude. I don't know. Maybe she couldn't hear us. So she was just teasing us. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, she knows he does this show. It's not a big surprise. She doesn't quite know what we say on this show. Yeah, but... she, she doesn't want to hear it. You know, I can't blame her. Yeah, I know. Jay, t Jay talks a lot about, you know drilling her all over the house after you guys like oh my god she's probably listening right now you <laughs> asshole why would you say shit like that hi jay's wife <laughs> gonna get me in trouble and shit <laughs> she likes sex doesn't she uh doesn't everyone <clears throat> i don't know like like you said you think uh 
you think that women really I think do women need... tolerate sex. Yeah. I think they see it as a necessary means to an end. Like I think they kind of like it when they're in the like the like the small window of the year that they're in the mood for it. Mm-hmm. But the rest of the time it's just like, yeah, I got to get him. He's been a pain in my ass lately. <laughs> got to drain those balls. <laughs> yeah, drain them balls. Get that aggression out of there so hey, he stops being an asshole. Hey man, I, I just watched a video. I was, sc- I was scrolling through Facebook and it was this uh, black guy and he was dressed up in drag or whatever like that. And I guess he takes a lot of questions from people. People ask him questions. Well, this one girl asked him. She goes, "How do I get a man to stop cheating on me?" And he just goes on this rant. He's like, "Suck his dick. <laughs> suck his dick in the morning. Suck it in the afternoon. Suck it at night." When he's done taking a shit, suck his dick. And he's like, you keep those balls so empty and so drained, he won't have enough energy to cheat on you. <laughs> That's funny. And I'm like, a gay guy knows this. How come women don't? Well, because gay guys know how to please guys. Oh, you're calling us? I'm calling us. Oh, okay. What's up, motherfucker? Can you hear us? No, see, I'm no, here. I hear us. <laughs> she must have got a... Um... Uh, nervous. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Here, keep talking. Oh, shit, I exit out of it. You motherfucker. <laughs> I'm calling again. I, I, I have no idea how this works, guys. I'm calling again. I'm, mute, I'm muting myself, so I'm not getting anything. So you're not getting anything. I'm not getting any feedback. So you are married. You're not getting any. <laughs> yeah. Talk. What's up, motherfucker? Yeah. I can't hear you. Well, I have the thing on mute. Oh. Well, unmute it. Hey. Hey. Yeah, I can hear you. <laughs> check, 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 motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. So, you know what? Our phone lines work, so why don't you guys give us a call? Come on, Malcab, Give us a call. We want to hear your voice. You don't have to be lonely tonight. <laughs> just give us a quick what's up message. Come on. We don't care. We just want to see that this shit No, works. actually, please don't call. I'm very, you know, I hate people so much that I get nervous. You're such an ass. <laughs> I'll talk to him because you're a bitch. <laughs> I'm not a bitch. I just don't. I, just, <laughs> I know Satanic Oppress is in here. Come on, give us a call. Come oh, on, is buddy. he? Yeah. Hail Satan. Hail Satan. <laughs> Hail Satan. <laughs> I wonder, uh, did you hear anything about Gene Simmons trying to patent that at all? Oh, that stupid fucking devil. Whatever came of that, did you hear anything? No, no. Oh, you know. didn't hear anything. I didn't hear anything about it. All I know is that you know Gene Simmons is Jewish, so him trying to make money off of something's weird. <laughs> Howard Stern's also Jewish. Manda said the lines fucked up. Oh really? I don't know. I just tried it. It works. Man, it worked. I don't know. She was gonna call in and see what the fuck's going on. No, what's that buzzing noise? Oh, never mind. It, uh, it was my hand on the thing. No one else oh, could hear it. But hand us. on the thing, if you know what I mean. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> uh, you know what, man? I. Uh, do you guys remember back in the oh, I want to say the, the the late or the early nineties, uh, Geraldo, <laughs> that fucking crap. Geraldo tried to have this big fucking expose about uh, uh, about about King Diamond and Merciful Fate music. He was talking about how if you play it backwards, it has satanic messages. <laughs> uh, if you've ever like listened to the King Diamond's music, those satanic messages are pretty much just. Right there the way it's intended to be heard. I know. That's what I don't understand. There's nothing hidden whatsoever. That's like when Marilyn Manson was getting popular. Everyone was like, he's he's worship Satan. And I'm like, yeah, he talks about it. <laughs> he like, really doesn't. But, but I mean, King he wrote Diamond. A book. <laughs> I just think that's hilarious. I don't know. Fucking old people. I mean, if you listen to King Diamond's lyrics, they're, they're all about Satan. Yeah. That's like I just watched a thing where Cheech and Chong were talking about marijuana. And in the 70s, I guess they did a huge thing on, like, Dateline or something. I don't know. I don't even think Dateline was around back then. But uh, about how marijuana, you know, people shouldn't really hate on it and stuff like that because it could have, you know, medical properties or something we don't know. And they were like, well, we were right. (laughs) They were like, that was in the 70s, and we were fucking right. So, you know, but who wants to listen to a bunch of fucking stoners? Here, let me go ahead and give you some King Diamond lyrics for a minute here. This is played... The right way, the way it's intended to be heard. By the symbol of the Creator, I swear henceforth to be a faithful servant of his most puissant archangel, the Prince Lucifer, whom the Creator designed as his regant, and uh, the Lord of this world. Amen. I deny Jesus Christ, the deceiver, and abjure the Christian faith, holding in contempt all of its works. 
Yeah, there, there's really hidden messages there. <laughs> if there was a hidden bas- backmasked message, it was probably, come on, kids, for real, clean your room. I know, and there's a the thing, like, you don't have to play the fucking thing backwards. He'll just fucking tell you. <laughs> I just don't get it. Whatever. Jesus Christ, man. I don't know. I was listening to Two Live Crew. Anyone knows who Two Live Crew is, they're fucking disgusting, like, awesome they just talk about fucking bitches and the ass you know the one song you talk about this bitch that sucks his butthole and stuff they're fucking awesome they had a lot of problems back in the 90s with you know congress you know asking summoning them to you know ask them questions and all this bullshit and it's just like and then they came out with a song uh it was bruce springsteen's born in the usa they sampled that but it was called banned in the usa and they rap about you know how basically the united states when you live here, free speech means free speech. Right. It, it doesn't mean if you are a Nazi, a communist, um, you know, a lesbian, you're gay or whatever like that. It doesn't matter what you are. If you live in America, freedom of speech means freedom of speech. Right. And it's just funny. Just because I don't like your speech doesn't mean you yeah. don't have the right to say and it. And it's just funny to hear someone like Two Life Crew that's used to writing about disgusting, you know, drinking women's period bloods and shit or whatever the fuck yeah. they talk about where they actually make a really well done song where hood it's rat, like, hood rat, hoochie mama. <laughs> yeah. you remember that song? Hood there? rat, hood rat, hoochie mama. <laughs> great fucking song. It is a great song. Anyone doesn't know who two live crew is, check them out. Them, them. And I, I forget who else, a couple other, that's right. When, um, a lot of the parental advised Tory shit was coming out that needed to be on records and they were trying to ban music and stuff. They're one of the reasons. I can't remember anyone else. Um, Twisted Sister, Twisted Frank Sister. Zappa. Yeah, Frank Zappa. But that's right, because when this shit was all going down, Two Life Screw album came out like a year ago. But they got really popular because all these senators, I don't know if they were, you know, fucking their mistresses, mistresses and well, like, it, it heard was, it. It was Tipper Gore. It was Al Gore's wife who was like the spearhead of all this bullshit. <sighs> Jesus fucking Christ. But that's the thing. That's that's like I hear all these people, you know, bitch about this stuff. I just feel like it's just a money making scheme. Like Tipper Gore is probably fucking his mistress, like I said, and he hears that come over the radio. He's like, oh, I can make money off this by making a big deal about it. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. These people just have so much fucking time on their hands. I got too much time on my hands. <laughs> Great song, Sticks. <laughs> too, 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 too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, censorship is a stupid thing. Like, It is. You know, even it goes down to our fucking president right now who's bitching about people being so mean to him. And like, you know what? Uh, you know, it, it, it's part of being in public you know like you guys are probably gonna say some dumb shit about me sometime about how my beard's stupid or whatever or how i look like a pedophile yeah i mean <laughs> we accept that we're putting ourselves in front of people so it's gonna come to pass that people are gonna fucking judge us and that's the thing that's just pride at this moment like like you said like i i do agree that i believe that trump can't take criticism he oh my no, god he's got the he's got the thinnest skin i've ever yeah, seen he has in his whole life and that's probably the reason why he can't take criticism yeah, he, he had so much money and power yeah. that you know but but when you're the just do you, what obama did ignore him like well, obama yeah. just straight up ignored people he's like fuck you i'm president what, what the hell <laughs> the, there was a quote i think where he said something to the effect of you know as the president of the united states i expect to catch a lot of shit more or less but you know, I'll defend that right mm-hmm. to to give me that shit. The only thing I, I, I think is a little crazy is, like, the typos on Twitter and shit. Like, who fucking cares? Oh, that's just dumb shit. I just hate grammar Nazis, though. Like, they really piss me off. Yeah, that, that, that's just dumb shit. I mean, you know, don't bitch at the man for, for that shit. Bitch at him for his policies or his failure of yeah. policy or whatever you want to like, say. Like, the healthcare thing. I really don't know what it's about. I know there's going to be people that are losing, but anytime there's a law passed, people lose out. And I don't know what's going on. I just I just have no I, idea. Well, that's open in a whole new can of worms yeah but i don't I, think we want to open here yeah no and uh, i'm not saying anything like i just i don't care like i just really don't care i'm probably gonna die in a couple years anyways because tooth infections yeah i get tooth infections you know my ex-girlfriend's my stepsister uh just weird shit happens to me so i i just don't care about that it's just weird people just that can't take criticism it's weird Man, I I man, never... si- size live now. What, no, I know why we don't have any fucking. Oh, is she a bikini? Is <laughs> she a bikini live. again? <laughs> I don't know. If she's live right now on on Periscope, so that's why we ain't got nobody. Hey, four MLS, thanks for joining us. I, I'm seeing. I don't know why I can't see the count of how many people are here. It's right bugged. Now. I think it was bugged last week. Well, anyway, we're glad for all you guys. And if I didn't see you come in, 
Uh, you know, welcome to the show. I'm losing my M and M and M A's because of health care. You're losing candy. You're gonna have That's to. That's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ben Henry, you're gonna have to clarify that one on me. I don't understand what the fuck that means. Yeah, I I have no idea. It's what probably happened. something really really commonplace that I should know, and the fact that I didn't realize what acronym you were using is retarded of me, but... Actually, this, re this reminds me of something that's really sad, I thought. Uh, you know how Budweiser was bought by a foreign company a couple years ago? Who bought them? InBev. InBev. Okay. Um, Budweiser released this commercial with the guy that played Kylo Ren on Star Wars. Oh, yeah, that bitch, uh... And Adam. Yeah. Did you see Adam this Driver? commercial? Did you see this commercial? No, I haven't seen well, it. Well, he was in the, served in the military or whatever, and uh, he as part of this program called the Folded Flag Program. Yeah. And Budweiser teamed up with them, and what they're doing is they're going around finding uh, parents, or you know, one parent, a mother or father that got hurt during a war, and can't work to provide their kids with uh, tuition for school. Okay. So Budweiser and Adam Driver or whatever are going around and giving people money to go to school. That, that's fantastic. I know. It's just what, what made me like just – I don't know. It, it made me feel wrong because the sad thing is is Budweiser is even an American company, and they have more respect for families and veterans than like some American you know what? companies. <laughs> you know what? Here's the sad truth of the matter. Uh, uh, most American business has gotten to the point where it is so corrupted and so concerned about the bottom line and the investors – uh, oh, 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 I'm sorry. I'll get right back to that. But Ben Henry says it's like diabetics drinking Mountain Dew. Not the government problem. Stop drinking sugar. Okay, fair enough. Anyway, um. So it's like severe diabetes, basically. Yeah, he's basically just saying, uh, quit, quit drinking sugar, you dumbass. <laughs> uh, you know, kind of like, uh, if you fucking take the bad heroin and all of a sudden it's our fault that you're dead. But anyway, um, what, I, what I was saying is uh, American business has gotten so fucking big, corrupt, and, and concerned about the bottom line that they don't give a fuck about anything else anymore. And, uh, you know, Europe, Europe has a much different corporate culture than we do. Mm -hmm. They have a much different uh, outlook on business and the work-life ratio. And I think a, a lot of American people and a lot of American, uh, especially older folks... Uh, a hey, Waro, hey, uh, a lot of older folks value hard work over everything, and hard work has its place. If you're a lazy bitch, you don't deserve shit. Yeah. Uh, but here's the deal. You also need to have work-life balance, and I don't think that you should glorify people that devote their life to work at the expense of everything else, including family, health, and otherwise. Mm -hmm. I mean, you see way too many people doing that shit. Well, that's the thing. Like, uh, you know, you, be, you used to be able to work, you know, 40 hours a week of regular. Or hell, even before that, like when uh, the Ford plants were getting popular and shit. I think it was the th I think Henry Ford was the first one to introduce a 35 hour work week. No, it was a 40 hour week. He oh, was, was the it? one who did that. OK, I thought it was a 35 hour. Maybe it was 40. I, I, it was 40. it wasn't to be nice, though. I forget what his motivation was, but it wasn't to be pleasant. Yeah, but I, I think actually 40 hours is pretty good. You know what I mean? But it's like, you know, and a man used to do it, and I know I'm probably going to sound sexist, but it just, you know, it sucks these days because I, I see a lot of my friends that, you know, can't pay for daycare because both the parents work because daycare is fucking expensive. Like, I don't know, like, why it's so expensive. Like, are you dipping the kids in gold? Are you giving them, like, gold teeth? Like Because you're paying somebody to watch your little bastard children. That's why. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's true. I don't know. But, but. Okay, this guy has a lot of haze to go about. I think he's a bot. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I'm looking woman. at the picture. It's some woman with yeah, huge Yeah, it's a bot. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? I'm going to fall for your stuff. Yep, you're captivating. I'll beat you here. Yeah, I'll meet you here, Abby. Merhaba. <laughs> Merhaba, yeah. We're going to go ahead and get this bitch out of here. Oh, we can ban people? That's awesome. Yeah, we're spam. <laughs> I, I didn't know we could ban people. <laughs> well, it's not really banning. It's just uh, we won't see him anymore. We don't want to, like... No. It's hard enough to keep up with the chat in here as it is. And they sound Mexican. I don't know what language they're speaking. <laughs> she was just saying hi in every me every uh, language she could think of. Uh, oh, Jesus by Christ. By she, I mean the ones and zeros that's behind her. Uh, actually, you know what's funny? I, I saw something weird today, and it was with my family. So I couldn't really say anything because I would have sounded like a dick. But my one nephew, he met a Russian woman. Okay. And they ended up getting married because she's pregnant. 
I saw her. Is it his? Yes, I think. <laughs> I think. <laughs> if it comes out black, it's not. But whatever. <laughs> she was eating a banana upside down. Uh, most, uh, or a lot of people, I should say, do that. That's how that's how monkeys eat them. Oh, really? They eat them that way because it's easier to peel. You just have to squeeze it a little, it pops <laughs> open. Yeah. As opposed to our dumbass way of peeling it from the top. Yeah, right where the stem is, they flip it over upside down and then peel it from the bottom. Yeah, they don't even need to peel it. You just kind of squeeze it a little at the yeah. bottom and it'll pop out. Yeah, and I was like, I was like, did she do that on purpose or is that like a Russian thing? And I was just thinking, I was <laughs> yeah, like. Yeah, because Russians do shit backwards. <laughs> they might in Soviet Russia. Banana eats you. <laughs> oh fuck you! Fuck your Yakov Smirnoff jokes. <laughs> but I just thought that was funny, and I was sitting there and I was just staring, and I was like, I never thought I'd witness somebody eating a banana upside down, and I thought it was the strangest thing. That is the strangest thing. At least she wasn't deep throating it. Yeah, that would have been weird because I'm sort of related to her now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hey, uh, she's Russian. She comes from a different part of the country. Why is she, in a, hur- why she in a hurry? I don't get it. <laughs> hey, uh, so did you hear about this whole uh, Chris Christie thing no. that everybody's making a big deal about? Uh, you got to remind me who Chris Christie is. He is the governor of New Jersey. He's oh, a fat, that swollen fat fuck. Tur- yeah, he's this fat, swollen turd. Yeah, he I just think he was actually... G- what did you say he was from? I don't know where he's from. New Jersey, I think. It was, well, that's where, yeah, that's where he's governor. Oh, okay. Because I think before that he was like uh, Department of Health or something funny, and he's like five hundred pounds. <laughs> I don't know, but but here's the deal: it, everybody's making a uh, making a fucking stink about this on the internet, and you know what? Rightfully so. Uh, New Jersey fucked up and didn't pass a budget resolution, so they had to close all like the parks and shit like that. Uh, the, you know. Well, his governor, he, he he and his family were on a beach that was closed because of the the whole uh, park shutdown. Because that's where the governor's mansion is, and people are pissed. Of course they are. Of course they are. And this is why. And, I tell and you me. know what? And it has nothing. Okay, we all know that I'm the liberal commie, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> you're, you're welcome, Jason, if you're out there. Uh, but. Um, it, it wouldn't matter if it was fucking Elizabeth Warren sitting there with her family. They'd be like, that, dude, that's some fucked up shit. You don't yeah. fucking sit there and close the, the, the parks and then uh, toddle your little fat ass out there with your family to, yeah. to, to have a beach day. I know. It's fucked up, dude. But And then I don't mean to go too a political here. But the thing is, is that's why you don't depend on the government for money. They can't even do they. And it's not even they can't even do the budget. They just fucking forgot. Yo, we just, we, <laughs> like, we, hey, we forgot. No one's getting paid. Yo, we just got a we just got a Russian in here. That's funny. You're just talking about his. Uh, oh, his really? or her name's Vishnikov. Oh shit! Hello, Vishnikov. <laughs> and they are speaking in Russian. All right, I do not read Russian. Yeah. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Yeah, it's probably spam, too. Well, thank you, Vishnikov. Yeah, vodka. That's the only Russian word I know. Well, vodka. <laughs> yeah, we actually put a title in now, so now we're getting all these weird-ass people that aren't, aren't talking to us. Or Sputnik. I don't know. Is that Russian? <laughs> Sputnik, yeah. That was the, the Russian actually, satellite. Actually, uh, fuck. I, my mom was talking to her today and was speaking to her in Russian, and I think Larka is dog. Lartka? Something like that. Lartka? Something like that. I don't know. Sounds like somebody is too fat for a bathing suit. Yeah. And I know that like Russians me. have 33 letters in their alphabet. Oh, uh, yeah? Do they? Yeah, because I asked her. I was like, how many letters are symbols? Because I asked her. I go, do you call them symbols or do you call them uh, letters? And I guess they call them letters. And I'm pretty sure she said 33. That's There's... a lot of letters. Yeah. 33. Well, a fucking Japanese and Chinese, they got like way more than that even. Ah, oh, fuck yeah, man. They're all over the place. They're like, oh, fucking this symbol means dishonor to my family. I kill myself. Uh, this symbol means SARS. They mean sounds. <laughs> like in real in reality, their their uh, characters mean sounds. Do, do you like um? What like, do you mean it, like it, it, instead of an A? Me, yeah. It, it's just weird. Like they might have a, a like uh, a character that means J. Yeah. Or uh, a character that means K. And uh-huh. A character that means C. So they put it together, KC. Oh, okay. Like I thought it, you meant like sounds like if if you were writing, I took a shit today, it would just go. <laughs> it, it, yeah, it's like they have like guttural, like basic sounds is what their characters represent, I guess. Yeah. So Speaking it, of guttural German. <laughs> it's like a Tool song, man. It's a, 
Uh, oh, where they talk about a uh, recipe for German. Yeah, well, it's a recipe for, schni- for snickerdoodles. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's like, sounds like a German, uh, German uh, rallying cry or some shit or a speech from Hitler. And it's, it turns out it's a fucking recipe for cookies. That's the thing, man. No wonder they were good at war. If I had people coming at me going, ah, 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 I'd run the other way too. I'd be like, fuck that. But like I said, Back to back World War champions, America. You're talking about it like it's a fucking Super Bowl. <laughs> back to back World War champions, baby. Mm, don't you forget it. <laughs> We're so arrogant. I love it. <laughs> oh, you're so arrogant. No, that's the thing about America. We're just so arrogant. Yeah. And I love it. I'll never understand pride, American pride, or, or German pride, or. Whatever the case may be. It's like, how can you be proud of where the fuck you were born? <laughs> I know. No. Like, you have achieved nothing to get there. I, I know. That's the thing. Like. It's the same thing with <laughs> racial pride. I don't understand it either. Oh, I'm proud to be black. I'm proud, proud to be white. I'm proud to be Native American. How the fuck are you proud? You didn't do shit. <laughs> I know. That's the thing. Like. Your parents fucked. <laughs> I know. In a particular location. <laughs> that's, that's why you are proud to be an American. Because your parents fucked in this country. That actually reminds me. Good job. I don't know why this reminds me of it, but it reminds me of your Poison Ivy story. (laughs) Which one? When you brought up your parents fucking... It reminded me of the Poison Ivy story when you lit it on fire by accident. (laughs) Tell the story. Okay, all right, all right. (laughs) So, um... I don't know why it reminded me of it. I just, you said about your parents, and I was yeah. like, he should tell the Poison Ivy story. All right, why not? Well, it's Poison Sumac, technically. No, oh, okay. Uh, so I lived in a development outside of Philadelphia a long time ago because my dad moved to us to Philly because you could make more money, but the cost of living was higher, so it didn't work out anyway. But we lived in an apartment complex, and the apartment complex we lived in had a fence that bordered it from an industrial complex. Oh, pardon me. Excuse me. Uh, anyway, so on growing on this fence was a bunch of poison sumac, which is like vines. It's not like a tree. It's not like um, poison ivy, which is just a plant. It's one that's more like a viney type of thing. And uh, it was um, sometime in the, like I would say the fall. We were, were all outside, and my parents had basically fallen asleep in the backyard, and I was. Young enough to do stupid shit, old enough to know better, but still young enough to not listen to myself. Uh, and I was playing sparklers because what better way to entertain an 80s child than give them flammable objects and then fall asleep and not Damn sleep. right. Creepy crawlers easy right. make oven. Let's go. What better way to entertain people in the 80s but besides uh, giving them fire and uh, then, then no, no supervision? So I, I was playing with sparklers, and it wasn't even like 4th of July time like it is right now. And I thought it would be a great idea to hold one of these sparklers to the poison sumac vines that were dead (laughs) on these fences. Well, as you might imagine, they caught on fire. Me being, you know, a kid, I start waking my parents up. Um, uh, guys, guys, there's, um... Something happened. <laughs> My dick's on fire. <laughs> so, so, something happened here. Well, uh, come to find out, the the long story short is I'm a, I'm apparently immune to poison ivy and poison sumac, and my parents aren't. And uh, they like breathed in the fumes, putting out this little fire and putting it out and getting it all you know from burning the whole fucking neighborhood down. So they're covered in so no, poison. So sumac. no oral sex for a couple yeah, months. <laughs> they they had like. Poison sumac all over them, all down their throats. So, no, it, it wasn't. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't like you know all down to the throats and like burning the lungs and shit like you you could imagine. But it was definitely like you know they had some irritation that wouldn't have otherwise been there. That's a, oh man, that would be so horrible. Oh Jesus yeah, so Christ. they were all like laid up for a week, and I'm just like totally normal. I got like three little dots <laughs> because I'm I'm just basically me to it like. To this day, I can go walk in through a patch of poison ivy, and like I might get like three little dots of itchiness. Yeah, I don't get poison ivy either. Poison sumac, I've never been around. I don't think to know if I'm allergic to it because I think you have to be allergic to get it, right? Yeah, I know what what they say. Yeah, the the oils don't affect everybody. Yeah, so like poison ivy, I can't get it. Like I just walked through some. Like I think last week it was to go to the creek because there's a creek or crick, whatever you fuck. Creek, crick, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, back behind my house, and I walked all through, and I didn't get shit. I don't even know really what it looks like. Uh, my stepdad was out there uh, weed whacking the other day, and uh, 
I was talking to him. He's like, oh, I better not weed whack it. It's poison ivy. Like, I couldn't tell you. Nah. Because I don't get it, so I never knew to care. <laughs> yeah, and the weird thing is, is like, his stepdad, he used to have goats, and goats eat the shit out of poison ivy. Oh, yeah? It does not affect them whatsoever, and they love it. That's why he got them. He, they, he wanted, you know, his shrubs and shit to get eaten, but he didn't realize how much they love fucking poison ivy. They will eat the fuck out of that. There's some pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just so excited, man. Soon it's gonna get dark out, and I'm gonna fucking light some illegal fireworks. <laughs> illegal fireworks. It's just so awesome. Like when I was driving to this guy's garage last night to get these, I felt like I was on a drug deal. Right? Right. I think we got another fucking spammer. With titles come spammers. <laughs> oh my god, we have a call. It's not you, is it? No, answer it. <laughs> oh really? Answer the call. And. Hey, you're on the air. Holy cow. Hey, who we got? Hi, it's Malkev. Malkev, hey, how the hell are you? You finally got brave. I am awesome. Happy Independence Day, guys. Damn right. Fuck England. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing today for the 4th? Anything good? A delay from, uh, bit of a delay watching the, trying to watch the show. I thought he'd like, react before I answered. Oh, no, we can hear you. It's, it's pretty live. All right. You doing anything good today? Like, you know, riding the bald eagle in the battle, slamming a Budweiser or anything? Well, of course. <laughs> I mean, what else you do? <laughs> I know, exactly. Yeah, I'm, I'm just so excited, man. What else is going on? Beer, grilling some sausages on the grill. Oh, really? What kind of beer are you drinking? Uh, I had some uh, Founders Sumatra uh, Brown Ale. It was delicious. Ah, oh, we will have to try that. Sumatra. That sounds like a sexual position. That sounds amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's like the coffee coffee brown ale. It's really good. Oh, sweet. Oh, that's that's right up my alley. I don't know if Casey would like that, but that's no, right up I my alley. I wouldn't style. be able to sleep for days. <laughs> <laughs> Any Anything else going on today? You lighting off some illegal fireworks or anything? Uh, I don't have anything good. Just that crap that's like the glorified smoke bombs. Oh really? Showers of sparks. Yeah. yeah, showers. How exciting! Showers of sparks. I know. I, I think I'm gonna blow some yeah. up today, but I don't know what to blow up. You know, it's pretty. You know, it's freaking horrible. I mean, we're celebrating independence, our nation's birthday, and half of the good shit is illegal. I know. Oh, yeah. How, how free out. is that, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's so true. How free is that? Damn right. That reminds me, fireworks yeah, shouldn't be free. I mean, as I'm sitting here in town, you know, watching all, like, all the neighbors light off, like, you know, actually good fireworks, I'm just thinking, yes, somebody's <laughs> breaking the law. I know. Oh, that reminds me. That just, I don't know why you just, but I forgot my brother, when I went to visit him today, just gave me a half stick of dynamite. <laughs> I completely forgot. <laughs> so, oh, man, I'm just so much more excited. Let's now. find the neighbor's dog. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot about that. <laughs> you hanging out with family today? Yep. Yeah, hanging out with my mom and dad. Then they're taking off for uh, on vacation. I got to work in the morning, but yeah, it's all right. It's all good. Yeah. Well, all thank right. well, thanks for calling in, Mal Cav. Did you guys ever try that uh, Trogues uh, Nimble Giant yet? We we see. Here's what we do. We normally buy three three weeks worth of beer ahead, so we haven't gotten that yeah, far yet. All right. Uh, this was our last one in the six pack. We're going to try it next week. I have it written down. It's actually hanging on my wall over there. It's nimble uh, giant. Right. And you said who makes it? Trogues. Trogues. Yep. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We will definitely get there. Yeah. Don't, don't, uh, for all you guys out there, if you send us a suggestion for beer, uh, we do listen to all. Yeah. We're going to give it a shot, but we just, like I said, we buy like three weeks of beer ahead of time normally. So, you know, takes us a while. Yes, it does. So thanks, uh, thanks again for calling. We had our first caller, man. I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Glad, glad to see it works. Yep. Uh, give us a call anytime. All right. Uh, we will. Thanks, man. Have a good one. All right. The uh, lines are open if anybody else wants to give us a call as well. Um, I don't know what else to say other than, you know what? It is hot in a bitch in here. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is really fucking hot in here. Dude, we we need to start like uh, putting putting frozen peas down our fucking pants and shit for me. Being... I know, I'm about to. It's fucking. Oh, you know what? Oh. I uh, I just remembered something else I read in the news the other day. I wanted to talk to you about. I was going to talk about it last week, but uh, by the way, special special thanks again to uh, Jackie Wood for joining us last week. 
Uh, we didn't really do too much of our usual dick and fart jokes because she was on, but uh, she was a fantastic guest. Yeah, uh, Jackie, like, I don't know if you'll ever watch this again. I don't know um, if you do watch us, but I just want to say it was awesome, like, interviewing, actually. Like, it actually, like, I still think about it. Like, it just the... It just, just, uh, just the shit that you had to go through is, is unreal. Yeah, and it, you know what? If you haven't watched this, uh, you should uh, watch last week's replay. It's it's a fascinating story. Her mother and her mother's lesbian lover committed a bunch of murders uh, in a nursing home they worked in, if you didn't catch that. Uh, and, and the fact that this woman's as normal as she is is shocking. In fact, she has a great channel as well. It's at Woot. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and shoot that out here on the chat for those of you who are watching live. Um, find her. Watch her. Uh, Malcav says that's a very interesting interview. Good job, guys. Thank you, Malcav. We appreciate that. Um, it was interesting. I never thought, like, when me and Jay did this, we never thought we'd get to interview someone, like, as cool as her. It, and... it was incredibly interesting to, to talk to that person. And she, we're not a great interviewers, but... Um, yeah, we're just, like, flinging. Like, we were just trying so hard just to try to, you know, be professional. And just, it just, I, I was just... I, w I wasn't nervous, but I was just, like, amazed at how far that me and Jay have come to just, like, joking around, like, hey, we should do a podcast, and so we got to interview someone like her. Somebody somebody very interesting. But, yeah, you know, very her story, intelligent. Her story is, is crazy, you know, and uh, it, it still boggles my mind that anybody thinks it's inappropriate for her to write a book like her aunt and shit because, you know what, um, it's her story. Why the fuck shouldn't she write a I book know. about it? And even even worse is like her mom fucked up her life. Yeah. She didn't get to, have, you know, every time she had to go to a new school and shit, you know, kids wouldn't play with this girl because of what her mom did. Mm -hmm. You know, the least she can do is make a few bucks off of it uh, for a book. But anyway, I digress. If you haven't seen that, go watch uh, last week's episode. Yeah. She was really cool. She's a cool chick, and I hope you all follow hey, her. If you're watching this, Jackie, hi. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to say it was... It was awesome interviewing you. Um, I hope your life, you know, I don't know if it's, you know, how bad it is right now, but I hope it gets better. You know, I just wish the best. It was awesome interviewing someone like you. Uh, I think you're awesome. I think it was really cool that, you know, going through stuff like this, you're not only living your life, but you found someone to love. And I, I'm not trying to get all serious here, but I'm just saying, like, love is a weird thing. And, you know, uh, I see some people that experience bad love relationships and they turn into hate and you're still loving people and stuff. So it's awesome. Yeah. Good for you, man. That's all I wanted to say. Jackie, have a good night. Awesome. Whatever you're doing. God bless. All right. So <laughs> back to the dick and fart jokes and crazy people doing stupid shit in the news. So, um, I wanted to talk about this last week. Didn't have time, but we're going to go ahead and bring it up today. So a woman pulled a gun at a drive through after her chicken nuggets order got botched. Jesus Christ, man. I, I don't see the, I don't see a problem here. They're fucking don't fuck with my chicken nuggets. <laughs> so, so law enforcement said a 19 year old driver complained she did not receive enough chicken nuggets at a jack in the box in Tacoma, Washington. And then she complained that something was in her drink and threw it to the worker through the window. Uh, she <laughs> to the wall. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. She, she exited the vehicle with her passenger and began punching the window. Uh, when employee of four employees looked at the window to see if the vehicle had left, the driver pointed a handgun at them. The sheriff's department said. Jesus Christ, man. What is so bad when you're 19 that you want to be that angry, man? Just, uh, meth is a hell of a drug. Just wait till you're 30. Your fucking life falls apart when you hit 30, man. You're 19, man. You're fucked. Natural selection is going to get rid of you. <laughs> you know, meth is a hell of a drug. That's all I'm going to say. People yeah. do crazy shit on that stuff. In fact, you know, I was watching uh, an interview with Brian Head Welch from Corn the other day. Mm -hmm. I don't even know how I got onto this because I really don't even like Corn. <laughs> but anyway... Um, uh, chicken nuggets are serious business. Absolutely. Anyway, this guy, he was saying uh, Head, before he left the band the first time around, was so uh, addicted to, to, to methamphetamines. Uh, to, to sneak them past through the borders when they were traveling overseas, he would, like, take deodorant and take the, like, white part out of it <laughs> and then put uh, the, the meth baggies in the bottom hey, and then pack smart. all the white deodorant back into it. Hey, that's smart. Whatever you got to do. He's you... like, yeah, the drug-sniffing dogs couldn't smell it. That was his logic. It apparently worked. But like I say, meth makes you do some crazy things, and apparently it makes you very crafty. And see, this, this is the problem. Like, I, people are so ungrateful. Like... Like, I, you know what really fucks my day up is, like, when my house breaks, my car's tire pops, you know, some girl's, you know, faking that she's pregnant with my kid. That's a bad day for me. And then I see people like this. Like, I know a girl that, you know what ruined her day? They didn't have her flavor of ice cream. 
<laughs> and it's just like that's why I can't tolerate a lot of people. People are so ungrateful. I wish. I fucking wish that my life was so good that that's the only thing I had to be mad about. I know, and that's the thing. Like I see that a lot of that people bitching about stupid shit, and it's just like that's what sets you off. Like really? <laughs> Holy fuck, man. man! We are getting we are getting infiltrated by the spammers today. I know. I know. I I I never thought I would see hello in so many different languages in my life. Uh, hello. Dad, don't be don't be stupid, guys. Don't be clicking on the uh, bitch with the big titties who keeps speaking shit in different languages. Those are some big titties, though. Gotta give them that. <laughs> the only chick who hangs around here with big titties is size, and she paid for hers. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Hi, Sai. I, you might watch this she, later. She ain't watching right I now. I know. She's live streaming She's now. broadcasting. She's, she's too cool for school. Uh, but if you see this, hi, Sai. Uh, happy 4th of July. Um, I hope you have a good day and set a bunch of fireworks off. Actually, uh, I hope you set so many fireworks off, it pisses that guy off that was scratching his balls that you caught across the street from you. <laughs> oh, God forbid. Yes, yeah. he was scratching them and not jerking off. I, I checked into her stream one night and stuff like that. And right when I did, some guy was getting in his car, and he was, like, scratching his balls, like, bad. <laughs> Dude, when they itch, they itch. Yeah, that's true. All balls itch, it's a fact. Yep. Spam, 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 baked beans, spam, and spam, yeah. <laughs> Baked beans are fucking delicious, though. I, I know. want some baked beans now. God damn it, Malcav. Now you're making me making a fat guy hungry. <sighs> baked beans are good. But I'm excited. I got some fucking hot dog pokers. We're going to cook a fucking fire. I'm going to light a bunch of illegal fireworks while I ride a bald eagle shooting off my AK. <laughs> oh, no, it's an M16. America. America. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, the AKs. I mean, Russians, you don't want to get... Yeah. Get, uh, we don't want to be colluding. in a hurry when we're shooting guns. So while you're Russian, you don't <laughs> you don't want to be accused of colluding with the Russians. Yeah. So um, I'm pretty sure that's about it. That's about it. We're about out of time. Uh, thank you to everyone. Thank you, Malcap, for calling in. First caller. We should get a little plaque with your name on it back here that says first caller. Or we could just scribble it back there on the uh, one that's already there. Yeah. Uh, thank you to all the bots uh, for coming in and saying hi to us. There was like a lot of you in different languages. I'm glad your multi-language capability is amazing. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, everyone have a good fourth. Be safe out there. Uh, if you're too drunk, let your kids light the fireworks off. Uh, <laughs> and don't listen to me, because if you really do that and you die, I'd feel bad. Yeah, uh, <laughs> openly hostile opinions does not have <laughs> Nipple? Okay, why not? <laughs> He's anytime, been, Buzzwick. Anytime. Uh, Thanks for I joining think, us. I, I think Buzzwick has been here before. <laughs> but yeah, like we said, thank you, everyone. Uh, we're out. We're going to go and spend time with their family. Everyone else enjoy time with their family. Have a good night. See you later. Oh, my God. I just scared what? everyone. I just, I just, <laughs> there's a delay from what I can see and what I just did. Oh, my uh, God. I'm I'm just saying. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just showing. <laughs> Have a good uh, one, all everyone. Right, see see y'all, everybody. See you next week. Bye. This has been the Openly Hostile Opinions Podcast. We are available on YouTube, Google Play, iTunes, and your favorite podcast app. Be sure to like, subscribe, rate, and comment. If you want to help make all this possible, become a patron at patreon.com slash openly hostile opinions. I don't see you. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs>